Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Sam and Max in the Devil's Playhouse. I have to apologize for the last couple of videos because, well, I was way too tired to be recording, so yeah, they're somewhat incoherent. Did he just warp? Wow. Sure looked like it. Anyway, to remember her to make myself remember anyway, we were going to have to use the Crime Tron to continue to hunt down General Skunk Ape. So let's do that, shall we? Now, remember, not very many of our items actually did what we needed them to do, but a few of these new ones will actually spark some things. I mean, yeah, granted, this helped last time. But let's keep using this if it'll let us. Skunk Ape got this ring from somewhere, but the engraving just says, hard luck. Indeed. It's a vintage postcard from a collector of rare toys, toys, but the address has been smudged out. One of Skunk Ape's minions left behind this torn receipt from a toy store. Well, let's try that, shall we? Oh, I couldn't hear the buzz. There should be a buzz there, but that doesn't work. Okay. Let's see. Let's try the postcard. There we Game go. Complete. New location unlocked. And there's a pawn shop. But not yet. I believe. Oh no, we can't do that yet. We need we need to go to the pawn shop first. Okay, never mind. I was thinking I forgot we can't get the next one until we go to the pawn shop. So let's go there, shall we? If it loads. Please load the Hard Luck Pawn Shop, where he got the engagement ring, if you haven't figured it out. Intergalactic Warlord business must be in a real slump if Skunk Ape is having to hit the pawn shops. He's tracking down magic toys, Max, and he must have found something inside if he left Gruesome there to guard the door. Intrigue! Indeed. Let's talk to the research assistant, as useless as it'll be. Freelance police, pal. Let us in. Go away. Freelance police, pal. Let us in. Go away. Nah, luck, huh? Okay. You know, you should... Come on, give me the... Give me the wide view of the street here. Thank you. Tell, Just tell, a bunch of food scraps and use cat litter. It'd help if I knew what I was looking for. Yeah, okay. Nothing else there. A drunk rat who's been drinking the Rat Gut brand malt liquor. I think. And if you look in the back here, those of you who watch my uh, Puzzle Agent Let's Plays will probably be familiar with that artwork. And that uh, Scoggins Erasers. And yeah, ScogginsErasers.com I believe it actually does lead somewhere, or it used to actually lead to a very specific site, but not anymore. But hey, we got a side door we can go in here. Let's try that, shall we? This just goes upstairs to the apartments. Maybe we should go up and interrogate the locals. Maybe. Those people live above a pawn shop, Max. They've already suffered enough. I can't fault the logic there, sadly. Well, let's see. We've got a manhole cover this we can click on. This entirely too safe. It's an awfully big manhole cover, though. <laughs> I could have totally carried that heavy thing a lot farther. I just didn't feel like it. Sure. This goes deep into the fiery bowels of America's filthiest city. You've been listening to my inner bathroom narration again. You? <laughs> okay. So, we need something from the trash cans. And Sam is not going to go digging around in there with no reason whatsoever. So let's see if we can get a hint about what he's supposed to actually, you know, check. Oldest trick in the book. Yeah, we're supposed to make him fall down. Okay. And it's open. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh, a banana peel. So... This should be pretty obvious, right? We need a banana peel, we need him to fall in the sewer. 
Let's take care of that, shall we? Uh huh, a banana peel. Indeed. And into the inventory it goes. One of the few times you'll have to actually look at this a thing. A banana peel, just bursting with comic possibilities. Indeed. Okay. Come on. Walk, I said. So let's go ahead and do the most obvious thing in the world. Seems like a waste of a perfectly good banana peel. Well, okay, second most obvious thing in the world to me. Down with Skunk Ape. Aliens go home. Hey. You guys really shouldn't be littering. Surprise! Oldest trick in the book. Everybody saw that coming, right? Yeah. Along with, actually, you might want to actually notice, but... Yeah, look in the pawn shop window to see pawns. I think one of us should try to smash through that window with his rock-hard, melon-sized head. And I think one of us should try the door. Unless he wants to spend the rest of the day picking plate glass out of his partner's fluffy white nether regions. Very good point. We'll try the door. And get a paddle ball. A paddle ball toy? Skunk Ape must have tossed it out when he realized it wasn't magical. We've got to find what store he got it from. Well, that should be pretty obvious. Or, well, the mains to find out should be pretty obvious. So, we have the paddle ball toy. I can make out part of the name of the store this came from, but no address. And a receipt for said paddle ball toy. Success! A new destination has been revealed on your map. So let's go there, shall we? Since we have no more use for the pawn shop. Bob's How are we toys. We're gonna find Skunk Ape, Sam. All these streets look the same. Shut up, Max. They're completely different streets. It's Mole Men! General Skunkampi is sweating Mole Men! Uh, spoiler warning, Harry! Sheesh! <laughs> Smash your cell phones! That's how he controls you! It's Mole Men! General Skunkampi is sweating All clues lead here, but no sign of skunk ape. Aha! New York's lackadaisical business hours win again. But Skunk Ape will be back any second, little buddy. We'd better be ready for him. What are we going to do once he shows up? I don't know yet. And, if you haven't learned by now, I don't know yet means we need to use future vision. But let's look around first. Just think, Max. One of these innocent-looking toys may hold the key to unlocking another terrifying psychic power. I bet it's the giraffe. I don't trust anything with a longer neck than mine. Everything has a longer neck than you. Which explains a lot, really. Anything new? Just think, Max. Nope. I Same thing. <laughs> Sign. Bob's Toys's. The extra S is for sorry about the misspelled sign. Yeah, it works for me. Can we go in? It's locked. Nope. Skunk Ape's either waiting for this place to open or coming back with his goons to bust the door down. So, let's see here. Help. Oh. The only thing left to do here is to activate future vision. Not my inventory. Future vision. Because, well, that's how this works. Well, let's see, we can use it with the window display. And get nothing out of it. In the future, all these toys are still here, unbought and unloved. That's kind of sad. It's their own fault for not being more fun. It's not a welfare state, Sam. It is kind of sad. Let's see. We can look at Sam, or we can look at a cow. We can't look at the cow. That's only in, you know, Max's mind, along with the bread and the fan and the giant scissors cutting things. Max's head is a scary place to be. 
Let's get on with the road. Let's get the show on the road here, because Sam said he didn't know what to do yet. So let's find out. <laughs> so you have found me at last, Freelance Police. Hey, that will stinky. make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. Oh, we need to see if we can avoid that at uh -oh. all costs, and we're too late, aren't we? So you have found me at hey, last, stinky. Freelance Police. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. Ow. Luckily he hit their head, so no long-term damage. Loading. Really loading. <laughs> Engines to full power! Yes! Destroy the city! Look familiar? I certainly hope that you are paying attention, my friends, because our story seems to have hurtled to its inevitable conclusion. No longer can you blindly mash buttons to unleash a torrent of irreverent banter and comic mischief. Now you are all that stands in the way of the total annihilation of the planet Earth. The villain has made his move. The players are yours to command. Only you can return General Skunkape to the penal zone. <laughs> Everybody needs a snicker at that, I guess. So anyway. Die, Earthlings! Die! We're kind of stuck in our cell again, and the very big reminder of, you know, earlier. Where's Max? I can't hey, talk to Max. Max! Where's Max? Aw. Max is here with me, I just can't click on him. I never drink when I'm on a case. Still, huh? But this has changed. Stinky's locked in a cell. Sam and Max? Don't tell me Skunkabe wants you guys to be his love slaves, too. You'd be surprised just how many fetishes there are that involve Sam and me. What are you doing locked in here, Stinky? I've got no idea. I assumed it was Grandpa Stinky's fault. I don't want to know what fetishes involves Max. Ah! Why aren't you out there on your throne? Yeah, isn't Skunk Ape your boyfriend? You. He wishes. He is so not my type. You only have to date an evil gorilla once to learn never to make that mistake again. Oh, we've all been there, girlfriend. We, we have? How is this Grandpa Stinky's fault? He's been going on and on about Skunkabe ever since he landed. That's the kind of gentleman you should get involved with. He's got a future. Ugh. He's also a gorilla. Did you lose your cell phone? Ugh, hang on a second. I am your love monkey. <laughs> yes. Hi, Skunkabe. I see you. That's very clever. <sighs> He's been texting yeah. me non-stop. I tried to throw the phone away just to get away from it. Ah, that was a creepy smile. Can you call for help on your fancy futuristic phone? I already tried that when you guys were knocked out. There's no signal off this spaceship. Hmm. You gotta stay away from Skunk Ape. The guy's a total butthorn. You're telling me? I was just going to meet my... to meet a friend at the top of the Empire State Building. Then all of a sudden this giant gorilla shows up and carries me off to be his queen or something. Gee, you'd think a hyper-intelligent alien could've come up with something more original. I'm not buying this super advanced technology business if they haven't even mastered the technique of margaritas and unexpected car trouble. Yeah. Strange. So if the S wasn't Skunk Ape, I wonder who signed that letter. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's not gonna matter in the long run. You've gotta help us take care of that jerk, Skunk Ape. Whatever. Let me know if you've got any brilliant ideas. Hmm. Well, we need him. We need her outside this cell because she has a phone, and we can dial out to that phone. I hope. Let's see if it'll let Stay me talk strong, to Max. Stinky. You gotta keep a cool head when you're in the joint. <sighs> I liked it better when you guys were unconscious. Full power to right mandible. Let's yes. see something. Well, he didn't take this. 
And who can we call? Let's bust out of here, shall we? Actually, no, we don't want to bust out, do we? We can't leave the spaceship now. There's still so much nope. ape thwarting to do. Can't do it. We can't leave the spaceship. So let's see if it'll let us call Stinky and join her in her cell. That won't do any good. Stinky's right here with us! So no. No, no, no. It will not. But now that we are on board the spaceship, Full power I'm to going to call mandible. this a pretty <laughs> good time to cut the video. When we return, Take that. we see if we can reenact the scene from the intro. Until then, take care, folks. See you later.